Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk about a few ideas or side hustle ideas that people do to support their um, notary business while it's um, not yet taken off. I'm sorry for my appearance and I'm recording from my bed today that's because I don't feel very good. You know in today's day and age we feel very guilty to uh, just lay around and do nothing um, and I'm kind of uh, <laughs> feeling the same way so I thought instead of just laying around all day in bed <coughs> why don't I talk about some of the ideas how people who don't have a 9 to 5 or who refuse to do a 9 to 5 like myself <laughs> um, support themselves while their notary business is still new. Please make sure you give me a like and a subscribe so that you can get notified anytime I post a new video. Let me talk about the potential that your loan signing agent business has. So when you are working primarily with signing services, um, I think realistically if you are putting in full time in the sense that you are available all the time uh, and able to take any assignments, um, what I mean is that you do not have a restriction of a 9 to 5 job if you are dedicating all your time and working primarily through signing services and taking every assignment that you can then it is possible to make anywhere from three to five thousand dollars a month uh, depending on your location of course and um, you know what signing services pay in that area so it's possible to make that much um, just working with signing services although it does take a little bit for the business to pick up because you need to start becoming highly ranked every signing service has a different algorithm as to how they pick a notary there are a lot of people who um, are frustrated because they have invested all this money and it's been two months three months they have not received any assignments and they are like oh my gosh is this gonna happen is what should I do in the meanwhile how do I support myself in the meanwhile I know that some most people do have a nine to five and they don't quit um, until the notary business takes off and I I don't know how you can do that because I feel that if you you're basically occupied between the hours of nine to five and so if you're not taking on all that business that's coming how will you know what your notary business is gonna m make in order to make that decision of quitting that nine to five so technically it's 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 counterproductive so I I did this and I'm not telling you what to do but I did quit my nine to five once I realized that I was getting a lot of offers during the daytime and <coughs> um, going back to what I was saying about it takes a little bit of time for you to um, start being accepted on sna snap docs like you can accept an offer but you will not be assigned it and get people get frustrated and that's because um, snap docs primarily uses the ranking service and now you're going to say, well, how am I supposed to get ranked uh, highly if I don't get to do any assignments? The way to do that is um, sometimes there are last minute emergencies when signing services will just take anybody or sometimes there are um, something is really far away. Um, I don't support taking lowball offers, but it's up to you. Um, so I feel that just take something that's uncomfortable, do something that's in a bad weather day or something like that, and it'll it'll get you get the ball rolling for you. So in the meanwhile, while you're waiting uh, for this signing services uh, business to pick up, um, you can also start marketing to um, escrow officers, title companies, attorneys' offices because. Um, the the final <laughs> final way to make the most income as a signing agent is to work direct because if you work through a signing service not only are you printing all the documents so that's a, an additional cost you're also driving around town um, for each assignment you're scanning the documents back you are mailing the documents back well they are paying for it but you still have to go to FedEx or UPS um, and then um, you know you are competing with a lot of other signing agents in order to get that business but when you're working direct with with clients um, it's possible that um, an escrow officer books you for the whole day to do like four five six signings back to back not just is that no printing 
no driving around, no scanning back and no shipping. Now you are also um, making a lot more money because you are not you are cutting out the middleman. Um, so while you can make an, an average of hundred dollars depending on your location of course, but in my location about hundred to hundred and fifty dollars um, uh, on a good day for a refinance package. Um, at uh, directly at a title company, you can make up to 200 to 250 dollars to do the same thing. So, the ultimate goal is to work for escrow officers, attorneys' offices, um, and so forth. But um, I do not recommend um, you going directly uh, for direct business if you have no experience because it is really hard work to build these relationships where they give you a chance to do their direct work and if you're not good and if you uh, are new and making mistakes then that is a really good <laughs> way to ruin your reputation so i do feel that you should give yourself a little bit of time with signing services and kind of get your feet uh, wet a little bit and know have the confidence that you can do the job really well before you go market to uh, direct to title companies or start getting direct business. So getting back to the point, if you don't have a 9 to 5 or if you choose to quit your 9 to 5 or if you have the option to not have a 9 to 5 and you know kind of give all your time to um, becoming a loan signing agent, what can you do? Um, what are some side hustles that you can do on the side that not only some of them will be bring you passive income, but then the others mm, you can do on your own time. So number one, I think most people have heard about Uber, DoorDash. Um, you, you can work on your own time. You know you can uh, make a fairly good income at at that in the beginning. Um, it's not something that um, I like to do because it's not. I, I, I don't like to put that kind of mileage on my car. Um, so I kind of, uh, when I was new, I, st I did a few other things. Um, but that is one option. The next option that you can try is print on demand. Now print on demand is kind of, you don't have to have design skills. Um, because, okay, let me tell you what is print on demand. Print on demand is if you uh, have a design, and uh, hold that thought, I'll tell you how you can get around if you don't have design skills. But if you have a design um, that you can possibly put on a t-shirt, on cups, on all different kinds of merchandise like laptop covers, phone covers, journals, notebooks, um, bags, uh, shopping bags, grocery bags, water bottles, you think, you think of it and it, it exists. So there are certain websites, um, for example, Printify or Guten, um, where you start an account and you have your design and once you have the design, they have the module or they have the system where you place that design on the t-shirt or, or coffee mug or whatever. And um, then you can uh, put that, uh, you can connect your Printify to you to an Etsy shop and um, you can go to um, certain websites like Placeit where you can get, um, you can actually place your design on top of a model um, and take a picture. So if you have a t-shirt design then you can go to placeit.net and you can uh, place that t-shirt uh, and it will look like that model is wearing it. And then you can make a listing on Etsy. Um, so whenever and when you connect your Etsy and the Guten or the Printify, then whenever somebody places an order on Etsy, um, the order will be taken to Printify, and Printify will print, ship, um, you know, and do all that stuff for you. Um, so you're not spending any money before. Ex except for listing on Etsy, which is 20 cents per listing, I think 20 or 40 cents, I don't remember. But um, so now you are making money, um, you know, selling these t-shirts, selling these designs or coffee mugs or whatever on Etsy, you're not involved in the, uh, in the uh, production of that, you're not involved in the shipping or storing of any of it. All you had done the, is the first thing is to make a design and is to create a listing. 
people are making really good income by doing that. Um, now, if you don't have any design skills, you can go to Fiverr, and there are a lot of people there who will offer their services to make their make the designs. There are also websites like Redbubble, um, where um, I think you can buy ready-made designs. Even on Placeit.net, I have seen ready-made designs. So. Mm, I guess just do some keyword search on Google and see what is trending and you can create your designs and you can sell them on, on Etsy. Now on Etsy there is also a way to create uh, digital products. So you can create planners, now it's the new year is starting so you can create calendars or those kind of things um, and you know th those are electronic, uh, they are not hard copies so people can buy those or people have diet plans or templates and such uh, that they put that, that they are selling uh, they are the e -ver electronic version so people can who buy it they just download the template or the planner that you have uh, designed and then they pay you for it now think about it there is this is again zero cost and uh, this can be scaled up pretty well please let me know in the comments what side hustles you have tried the next side hustle um, is also pretty easy to to set up um, now keep in mind all these side hustles they they are not impossible to monetize only thing is you do need to spend time marketing your product you need to spend time putting uh, your tiktok videos or creating um, pinterest posts and you know really promoting your product if you don't promote your product it's not gonna do anything but <clears throat> the next one is um, amazon kdp uh, which is Kindle Direct Publishing and you can publish, um, people are publishing journals um, which are called no content books, uh, people are publishing children's books. Now again if you are not creative you can go to Fiverr and you can pay somebody to create the illustrations for you or even write your story and you can publish this book on Kindle Direct Publishing and again this is passive income because once you publish your book. Um, you are not going to do anything every time someone places an order then some uh, Amazon prints it and Amazon ships it and um, you collect the royalty uh, as you all know I do have a book on Kindle direct publishing it is the loan signing agent journal uh, the one page multiple document journal that I use and I sell a lot of them and that is um, a side hustle that has paid really well for me the next side hustle is um, called affiliate marketing and I'm sure you all have heard about it. Um, if you really invest good time uh, and effort into it, it is possible to monetize this um, and, and make really good money doing this. Um, so basically affiliate marketing is when you are uh, promoting the product of another, uh, or another person's product and you're getting a fee in return of promoting that product. For example, if you go and if you have a product that you used, um, let's just say you bought a remote control from um, Amazon and you don't have to buy it, but if you have a remote control from Am Amazon that you talk about um, on your Facebook page and um, you use the affiliate link um, and people like your review or liked what you talked about and they use your affiliate link to buy that product then you get some uh, commission for it so not just Amazon Walmart pretty much every big retailer has an affiliate uh, program um, if you if you go to the bottom of their home page you will see affiliates you can sign up as an affiliate and you can drop affiliate links everywhere um, you can be in like Facebook groups and somebody says hey uh, looking for recommendations for a, um, a good battery and then you can go and you can uh, look it up on Amazon you can get your affiliate link and you can um, write that comment and say hey I use this battery or if, if you did or this battery has good reviews and blah blah, blah and you put your affiliate link and if they buy that you make that commission. The other way to also do affiliate marketing is uh, which is not uh, I mean this was a subtle way of doing affiliate marketing where you can pretty much drop your links anywhere everywhere in your Facebook in just making a TikTok and saying hey I just got this perfume today and I just loved it it's so amazing um, 
and then link is in my bio that's an affiliate link uh, the the consumer is not paying any more uh, or losing anything by 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 using your affiliate link but you are definitely making money or commission every time somebody buys through your affiliate link now if you want to immerse yourself a little more into it you can go to clickbank.com and on clickbank you can find a multitude of products on in all different niches weight loss uh, skin care um, i don't know education uh, ebooks all kinds of different niches uh, and you can choose a niche that you like to talk about and you can look at the products that they offer for you to be an affiliate for and then you can get your affiliate link and you can then start promoting that product by i don't know participating in facebook groups making tiktok videos making youtubes or uh, just talking on your personal facebook po page about it and you can generate some income that way now the next and it's a very common side hustle is um, to offer s your services on fiverr now you may have been uh, doing uh, accounting as part of your uh, 9 to 5 which you uh, you you everybody is good at something you may be good at drawing or you may be good at making videos or editing videos or you may be good at a voiceover or you may be a good virtual assistant um, uh, or uh, executive assistant you may be able to create ads for somebody you i'm sure you have some kind of talent and it doesn't have to be a creative talent it can be um, uh, like i said it can be accounting or it can be bookkeeping so you offer your services on fiverr it's f i v e r r dot com fiverr.com and um, you go ahead and you bid on the the jobs that are posted there and you do that a lot of virtual assistants are making six figure salaries just doing this on their own hours and again this is working on your own hours um, you can uh, do transcription or you can uh, write to blog posts for people there are so many options on fiverr for what you can do i'm sure that you can find something that you can sell on fiverr one more really lucrative side hustle which can turn you probably uh, into a millionaire uh, if you do it right is Amazon selling on Amazon now there is a way to sell on Amazon it's called Amazon FBA um, or which is which means fulfillment by Amazon um, and then there is Amazon FBM which is fulfillment by merchant um, what you do basically is um, there is a uh, research or analysis tool called jungle scout uh, all everything i'm talking about the links are in the bio so you don't have to go looking for them so you go to jungle scout and you find um, products and again i'll uh, also try to link a video about how to get started with amazon fba or you can just search it on youtube it's um, it's readily available knowledge is readily available but um, just to give you an overview of what it is is um, you find a profitable product by researching on uh, jungle scout you can find videos on amazon on youtube how to do that um, and then you um, source those products from alibaba.com uh, which is um, a china based um, company that supplies really cheap products for example products that you can buy on Alibaba for a dollar for a piece um, are selling on Amazon for 20 to 30 dollars for that um, so find and find a profitable product in uh, a profitable niche uh, through Jungle Scout and then source the products from Alibaba and what fulfillment by Amazon is is that you you f you contact that merchant and the mer uh, the the manufacturer and the manufacturer from alibaba sends the product directly to amazon warehouse and from there on amazon handles the storage the shipping the packing the customer service uh, the returns pretty much everything all you are doing is you are handling the research you are handling the merch uh, the manufacturer relationship with the manufacturer you are making sure your inventories are 
uh, manage right your pricing. So, those things you are managing, but everything on the product shipping and customer end is managed by Amazon. So, that is called Amazon uh, FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon. Uh, it does come with higher fees than FBM, which is fulfillment by merchant. Now, for fulfillment by merchant, you can do the same thing. You can um, buy the product from Alibaba or even some um, uh, um, US uh, manufacturers and you can store the or ship the product to yourself and you can store the product and then you do everything um, whenever you get an order you ship that item you can do uh, sell things on ebay as well but this is this can turn into very profitable uh, business this also goes into retail arbitrage if if you really want to just get started and see how it feels to sell on amazon you start an amazon seller account and if you go to Walmart clearance section or if you go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls and stuff and you find uh, clearance items and um, you look at the, the barcode and on the Amazon seller app on your phone, uh, you scan the barcode and it will tell you how much that product is selling on Amazon for. And if you sometimes find products like that uh, in the clearance aisle of, Am uh, of Walmart, you get those products and then you list those products on Amazon um, and then you are making a healthy chunk of profit. I once did this, I, d I do not like doing this because I do not like running to the post office and doing all that, but you know just because I am always curious about you know uh, entrepreneurial ideas, side hustles, I, I have tr pretty much tried all the things that I have talked about. Um, so, I once did this and I think I, it was like uh, a, uh, a smart light bulb and I was just strolling through the Walmart um, clearance aisle and I saw this light bulb for uh, 15 10 dollars I think and uh, if I remember correctly it was sold on Amazon for 29 or 30 dollars so I bought the they had six of them there so I bought six of them and then I sold each one of them for 30 dollars uh, on Amazon and after the fees, I guess I had a ten dollar or so profit on each one of them. So I made sixty dollars for really just strolling through. But I did have to run to the post office. I'm sure you can find a better way to do that. But that is a way to do that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video about a few side hustle ideas. And these are not all inclusive. Today is the time and age I feel we are so fortunate to be um, around in this time and age where there's opportunities everywhere you look so um, if you liked this video if I get a good response for this video I might just research a few more ideas of making um, side income while you are trying to grow your loan signing agent business Please let me know your questions and if uh, you have any side hustle ideas, please go ahead and write a comment down there. If you like my videos and if you get any value out of it, I would love for you guys to please smash the like button and please subscribe and watch all my videos.